On a scale of 1 to 10, how satisfied are you with your own life? How much excitement do you have? How much happiness is there? How fulfilled do you feel inside of you? And if it's not that much, you're, I'm going to ask you as to why. Is it because of resources? Is it because of finances? Is it because of situation? Now, you see, late, in the news lately, Apple has been making breakthroughs with new products, right? So I want to ask you, if I could switch your situation right now with the situation that Steve Jobs had, right? If you could have led his life, would you accept? But then there's a catch, okay? You have to lead his life from the moment that he dropped out of college when he was a teenager. Now, you'll have the same situations he did, okay? He hardly has an education. He hardly has any money. He hardly has any opportunities. Now, do you think you can accomplish what he accomplished himself? Do you think you can get to the same level that he did? You see, and if you can truly answer yourself, and if you can say no, then you're going to realize it's not the situations which are holding you back. It's your state of mind, and it's your hard work and dedication. So when you look up to people, when you see people on the news who have accomplished things in life, don't ever think it's because of their great situations, right? You, it's about doing what you can at, this, at the moment with what you have. That is the principle of success. To do what you can with what you have where you are. And when you can engrave this into your day-to-day -day behavior, what happens is you're going to see improvements everywhere. No matter where you are, no matter what point in life you are, at, are right now, you can make a change. And then you're going to feel more fulfilled. You're going to give yourself a better score out of 10 on how happy you feel, on how successful you feel, on how fulfilled you feel. So don't ever blame your situations, okay? Always blame yourself. There is no one else to blame.